So I am with Doina and Daniela, some of the dear sisters I met when I was over in Australia on the eastern side, and we had a really good time together. These ladies have um, a ministry that they have been working with, uh, putting some videos on YouTube, and The Lord Our Righteousness is their YouTube page. And so I was presenting the book of Matthew, per their request, over in Australia a while back. It is now released, and you can see it in one of the playlists at the Revelation with Daniel um, YouTube page. And so it's been a while since I've seen them. I wanted to ask them back to be able to interview what's going on with them, how's it going with their life and, and the providences of God. And also they have done what they have been able to do with putting some messages together to put them out in the Romanian language. Both of these dear ladies are Romanian. And so uh, we're gonna learn more about what they're doing. So please, either Doina or Daniela, give us some information about what it is that you're going through since the last time that we were together, and that will segue into what's, le what's going on now with the Romanian ministry. So thank you and welcome. Thank you. Um, nice to see you again thank after you. such a long time. Yes. Well, I'm not sure if you remember, but uh, one of our last times together, it was at a breakfast here in Australia. And um, you turned to us and you said, so what is in the plan for you ladies next? And that's when I told you that as soon as we head back home, because we were in New South Wales, we were going to start a course. Well, this was the only thing that really has opened for us after weeks and months of prayer because we needed, we actually needed to re-enter the workforce. And the Lord opened that door for us. So after one year of intense study, we uh, completed it successfully. We both got placement in the local hospital um, where we live. That in itself was a miracle for us. And then after we finished our placement, uh, we both got hired. Oh, wow. Once again, we could see God's providence. Mm -hmm. Within short three months of being on the job, and Danny and I, we um, managed to actually uh, clear a debt that we had to the bank. Oh, praise Well, God. that was such a blessing for us because mm -hmm. we, we realized that short months prior to that, this seemed like an impossibility, especially to do it in such a short time. Mm -hmm. And then um, the flu season came. That was the flu, not the COVID. And because Danny and I, we were not taking the flu shots, We've been told that, well, we will have to stay home during that season, but they will call us back for work. And sure enough, as soon as the season has gone, we got a call back from the hospital to go back to work. And we did. Everything was going well. We were enjoying the work. We met lovely patients and people, and uh, then COVID hit. And from the rumours and the news and everything, we realised that this time, the vaccine was going to be mandated. Mm -hmm. So we discussed it and um, we came to the conclusion that we really need to get out of the system. There was no other way. So uh, the hospital wanted to renew our, our uh, contracts, but <laughs> we were always up front and we told them the reason and we said, we said our goodbyes. Okay. But the Lord, in, in a very short time after that, a few weeks he provided another work, still in the community, still with people. And uh, this time um, we were hired as a team. That was by Danny's inspiration. She asked the, comp the company, please hire us as a team. Oh, good. So they oh, did. Well, the Lord impressed us, I'd say, yeah. Yes, to, and to request and they, they agreed. <laughs> and we just loved it because we were always together. We do work well together. together. Yeah. So... Um, we enjoyed the job, but within two months of working and having a good rapport with our clients and everything with the company, it just dawned on us that there was a task that we were being asked to do, which really it wasn't according to God's will. And we realized that because we watched a video clip and we've been doing this for a while and it's, this is where... I can see God's grace because I believe when he says that he winks at our ignorance. But we were asked to contact trace clients. Oh. And the Lord has impressed us so strongly that we should have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the works of darkness. It may seem innocent, 
that this whole universal um, agenda and mingled with lies and wickedness, we should have nothing to do with it. Amen. So because we were not hired for that purpose anyway, we decided we have to be honest with our bosses and let them know that this goes against our conviction now. And we even sent the video clip to them. We told them to have a look at it because it clearly explained that it was even unethical to ask those questions. They were breaking the law, mm. but they had the excuse, well, the government requires that we do it. So um, anyway, after discussions with them and everything, we could tell that they were not happy for us to live because we have created relationships with our clients. We had very good reports and... Um, they decided to let us go. Oh, no. So, yeah, <laughs> so we lost that job. But just a few days ago, I read a verse, a Bible verse. Uh, I was reading in Zephaniah, and I'd like to read it to you because I could so relate to it just thinking back on this experience. And it's found in Zephaniah 3, verse 13. And it says, The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. And this is exactly what we wanted. We just wanted to be able to lie down at night and sleep well, knowing that we, sh we are not afraid of maybe going against God's will. We did not want that. Amen. So... Though, once again, we found ourselves in that situation, we knew that that was the right decision to do and just walked away from that work. Yeah, but anyway, in the meantime, like for quite a while, we were praying about uh, whether we should sell our property and perhaps downsize. We were asking for the Lord's providential leading and to reveal to us. So we got in touch with a real estate agent and we asked him to start the process of um, selling the property. and. Yeah, very gently he tried to tell us that, you know, um, um, country properties, they take months and months because we told him that we are praying for a quick sale and he said, well, you know, in the country, you know, properties take months and months to sell and, uh, you know, especially that you are so far out from the nearest township and, you know, he was telling us his little spiel. But anyway, we put it before the Lord and we said, well, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, we understand. And we, we, we just have to stay here. Right. So one day we were walking to the letterbox um, with our dog and we see this car driving past and then all of a sudden it stops and reverses and starts driving towards us. And as it was approaching, we look and we recognize this little um, old sweet tough little lady tough that lady. <laughs> used to be our client. Oh, okay. And she the window down, she puts her window down and she says, so why aren't you coming to my home anymore? And, you know, she had all these questions and um, she um, did say that she rang the company and she was she, very upset to find out that they let us go. They never told her the reason why, but she, yeah. she said, I blasted them that, how, how could you let, let them go? go? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you good workers and you let them go anyway. We became good friends and she came over for lunches to our place and we did tell her, we, we explained why we couldn't work for the company anymore and um, she listened and then she said, these were exact, her exact words and she said, you know, uh, you've got integrity and I like that. And we really praise God because we looked upon her heart to actually understand that, you know, these things were working against our own uh, conscience, yes. our own convictions and it is to actually stand up in those times um yeah now another morning um uh, we hear this knock on the door <laughs> early morning and it was again this uh, old little tough lady she comes in and she says girls have you got any jobs and we said no we haven't but we have put the property on sale and said okay get dressed you come with me into town i've got your job wow. <laughs> Once again, we saw the Lord's providence. But, I mean, what was the chance is that when we go to the letterbox, this lady drives past, right. you know, and then we, and you know, it was interesting because we had it in our minds that maybe we should visit her and just, you know, see how she was going because she wasn't living far from us, but 
that meant to break the company rules. rules. So yeah, we kind of were a bit holding back. We were holding so we back. We did not do it so we, because yeah. we thought it would be really going against. Once yeah, again, again, what you should well, do. Well, the, the rules were that for a year we were not allowed to get in touch with those clients that we were working for. Okay. But after a year, would yeah. So we were kind of holding back. And but the Lord brought her into our in our way, you know. So that's and, how and we the, the the rules never said that sh they couldn't come back to you, right? That's yeah, that's exactly right. right. Okay. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> so that that we saw that God opened, opened the way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because that's what I'm saying. What were the chances of you know walking to the letter box at the time she drives past and then pick up that contact? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, we followed her. She took us to this place. We went for an interview. We got the job. And um, even there we met a lady. And, uh, of course, knowing that we put our property on sale, she was telling us, oh, you know, it will take months and months before you will sell. You know, in the country it doesn't go that quick. Oh, it's good. You'll be here for a long time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, however, <laughs> God had another plan because... <laughs> The moment um, the the agent put the property on, on the night that he um, advertised it, mm -hmm. he received 21 inquiries about it and was telling us this has never happened to him ever before. Wow. And he said, this is, this is a miracle. miracle. <laughs> yeah. You know, so we reminded him, we reminded him, we were praying for a big sale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then uh, it, it sold in a week. Yeah. So, really, oh, wow. It sold in a week. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah, after that we, yeah, yeah, after that so we, really from that time of putting the house on sale, right, almost to settlement time, we were having an income, we, we could work, Yeah. and uh, this is the interesting part that I, I found about this whole experience, that we started off with a really comfy job, and it was paying really well, mm -hmm. and of course we had more responsibilities, but it was really good. And then the Lord moved us to a job that, well, it was more physical mm. and it paid less. Okay. And then finally, we got to really mm. physical <laughs> minimal wages. So I think we learned to be economical in, in these times. Like I think the Lord said, well, this is how it's going to be tighter and tighter and tighter in the end, you know. But also right through all our job places, we found people that we could share. really share the simple gospel, the very simple, beautiful gospel of God giving his only begotten son that if we, if we confess, if we repent, if we forsake our sins and then trust in the marriage of his dear son, we, we have salvation, you know, assured, assured for us. Hallelujah. And there were people up to that. And we did that in every single workplace where we found people that were open to it. I also I remember left them. in the last job, in the last place that we worked at, there was this young girl mm. and uh, we were sharing with her. It just so happened that we were grouped together at the workplace. And uh, um, as we were sharing, you know, about um, this gospel and about the false trinity and whatever is being um, false believed. Yeah, 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 there's false, trinity, there's no yeah. true, trinity or false trinity. Yeah, I'm saying the false doctrine of trinity. <laughs> then, you know, um, she said, you know, it makes a lot of sense. She said, I never understood trinity, but what you're telling me, it mainly really makes, makes sense. Well, it was so refreshing to hear it from a Gentile. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> they could get it. They yeah. could get it that it made sense. sense. It was yeah. so simple and beautiful. And just for that experience, we understood that the Lord was telling us the gospel has to go really quickly, you know, and that we were moved very, very quickly. quickly from one place to the other, and that's where we gathered. We also left a lot of people, especially at the yes. last place, with um, great, con the great confidence books. And yeah, nice. so you continue. What were you going to say? Yeah, um, oh, we moved. Okay. Yeah, um, around that time, yeah, after we sell, sold, we um, ended up living with my daughter and her husband for about six months. Mm. Um, and even there, I could see uh, the Lord's providence because I was praying that uh, He would reveal to us the place that He prepared for us through my daughter okay. because we were all searching, we were all looking, we were going to places and oh, we were finding things that we didn't like and indeed um, the Lord 
heard my prayer and answered in revealing that place to my daughter. She I, was I the one who also found add that God was very um, working on their hearts as well because they're young people. They were yeah. just having a baby. So they were so gracious to take us two old ladies into their home for wow. six months. Not young people want that, right. but they did that and they, they were lovely and we felt so comfortable. So we also saw the Lord's leading because uh, when we were about to, like we we were thinking it would be nice to move with them to a country property, property, not to be on our own. I was praying that the Lord would move upon my daughter's heart because this um, topic came up a few times in the past, but she was, no, 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 no. And then not that long ago, she, she was thinking and she said, when exactly did I say yes to this move? <laughs> when did I say yes? But I could see that the Lord had moved upon her heart, had, had touched her, and she said, yes, we'll, we'll go together. And it's like how my sister said, you know, they, they just had a, a little baby and still they went through this move and, of course, we helped them with the packing and what have you, but it's not a small task. And, yeah, right. yeah we were very grateful how God had led and worked. Mm. Anyway, at that time, while we were still there, um, you had contacted us, or if I remember correctly, um, the Romanian brother. The Romanian brother got in touch with you, expressing mm. his desire to um, find yeah. new people who could translate for, uh, some material that you had put out on videos and translate them in Romanian. Yes. And he got in touch with us, then we contacted him, uh, cut the story short um he um actually said that he, he his main interest was in finding someone to work on or to translate the ministration of angels because mm-hmm. that that is not so much out in the in the romanian, romanian community, uh, community. Mm-hmm. like yes there is a book by ellen white but um yeah you had gone into more depths and it's more clearly they found a real blessing. So yeah. they wanted to pass that on to the, the Romanian community. community. Amen. So yeah. it's interesting because we thought about those things ourselves that we should be doing something on the Romanian in, yeah. the, in yeah. the Romanian community. We we thought about those things ourselves, but we are always so slow that sometimes God has to say, hey, you have yes, that yeah. thought, you have that thought, why don't you follow it? Act through? on it. Or do I have to send someone to move you? <laughs> no, once again. <laughs> Isn't that what he yeah, says? Yeah. Isn't that what the Lord says yeah. in, in Romanian? Arich, or Aich, what is it? Come here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened. And um, even there, we had a bit of struggle to get in touch with the brother because of the time differences. He was calling when we were not available. We were calling him at work when he couldn't be available. So, you know, when when the enemy knows that there's a plan, he always tries to get in the way and, you know, make it not happen. But, of course, yeah, we did. We did sit down and chat with him. And, yeah. yeah, well, as a result of this work that we began doing, and we are grateful that you allowed us to actually translate what you had presented and put it in Romanian. Oh, and I'm very thankful. Um, I, I wanted to clarify with that too. I, I'm very thankful that you wanted to do this. And you, I remember you would ask me, like, you said something in your video that came out this way, and we feel it needs to be changed a little bit. Do you, are you okay with that? And I was like, go for it. Because I didn't feel like I'm the one that has, I'm, I'm, the one, I'm not the one that like makes a law saying you have to teach what I'm saying. I want the gospel to go out. And if you feel better in different shoes, then put them on and run with them. You know, I want people to be able to express themselves in sharing the gospel, not just sharing what I teach. So, you know, you guys, I'm sure are presenting the gospel in, in a very clear way. And I'm so thankful for it. So praise God for what you're doing. Yeah, praise the, praise the Lord. You know, it is interesting um, because how we usually work, Doina, um, Doina's done the translations. Like she sat down and she went with them, bang, 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 bang. And we were um, actually, because we were at our daughter's place, we really pushed ourselves because we wanted the Ministration of Angels series to be put up while we were there because we knew once we move it would be a little bit harder. We didn't know how the internet will work and all that. So... She's done it and, uh, you know, if I listen to you and I read what she has translated, it sounds, you know, 100%, it's perfect. I'm saying, yeah, 10 out of 10. But then one time I just 
went back, I put it down and went back because what she does, she translates, she sends it to me and then I'll have a, a final <laughs> editing because her Romanian is better than mine. Oh, that's what she says. That's not true. <laughs> And then, yeah, I just go through it and here and there I can see that it needs a little bit of change or the words put in a different order because it makes more sense. It's more, it sounds more Romanian, put it this way. Right. So one time I just put on um, the headphones listening to you and just reading what she said. I said, yeah, wow, it's excellent. I put it down. I went back about a couple of days later and I'm just reading what she said and here and now I'm thinking, what is she saying there? You know? So I had to go back and listen to what you had said and then change some words and or, or the order of words to sound more Romanian. Oh, okay. And you know it makes a difference. It, it really does. makes a it difference. Does, yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. And it is a lot of work. It takes hours, just a little bit of, uh, you know, like a few minutes of a video it takes Ten hours. Ten minutes it took me. Yeah, three say, hours. Say it, <laughs> did you say 10 minutes took Ten three minutes, hours? 10 minutes took me three hours. Wow. Maybe someone else would do it, but for me it took three hours to do 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, then probably you take a few breaks as well because it is a bit intense to sit there and, yeah. But I enjoy it because... Um, it helps me to to remember better, you know, because it's you one, get you get a blessing to, out of it. Yes, definitely, definitely. Even though and, we already listened to them before, and I think my remaining got a bit better too. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Lord is going to call both of you ladies to be preaching in Romanian. You know that, don't you? I mean, this is <laughs> this is this is just the beginning of a movement. This is not the final close of it. So, I'm really thankful that you've done that, and I'm I'm hoping that you've heard some good stories and testimonies and responses to the messages. And I've gone on and I've looked and I've seen several hundred views on some of them. That was a while back, so I'm not sure what they are now, but they uh, I'm sure people have seen them. What are some of the responses? I'd love to hear. Well, it's interesting because people that we have never met ever and we don't know who they are and they they listen to them and they say wow this is so simple and clear and it's so and they're so grateful for the message you know Amen. and they praise god for for having it um out there to to be able to hear it and yet people that we grew up with since we were children they warn us that we are on a territory that is a mystery hmm. and and they become suddenly distant and cold. Some of them, and it's sad because, yeah, yeah, yeah you go. Because we can really actually see just from uh, our conversation, because we had private conversations as well, that they defend the church but not the truth. Oh wow! And and every single one of them, they defend the church. This is the church. This is the remnant, yeah. and we trust that. And the remnant yeah. cannot be wrong. And uh, the Lord had led it so far, and they have to be in the truth. They yeah. can't. Wow. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, we also know. If, so, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll add to something that uh, Donna yeah. was saying. There is a very common phrase that we hear, like, "Ooh, that's a mystery. It's just too big, mm -hmm. too big, too broad for the human mind, and so God has made it simple for us as humans." Well, really, let's look at the word mystery for just one second. I'm going to show. A Bible verse and we're gonna to go to Colossians chapter 1 verse 26 and it's the mystery which has been hidden from all ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his Saints wait a minute the mystery is made manifest it's not hid anymore oh yeah that's what it's saying and then notice to whom God that's the father would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among who? The Gentiles. And what is that mystery? Well, it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. And so really, the gospel that's supposed to go to the Gentiles is the truth about the Son of God taking on human flesh and living out his life in perfection so that his spirit will be in us, in you, in me. And that is the hope of glory. So this mystery has been revealed, and it just drives me insane that people continue to teach that it's hidden, it's something we can't know, and it's like they have unintentionally closed their eyes to the gospel 
because they haven't done enough study. Is that what you both have been able to see as true as well? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, since you are in Colossians, do you mind just um, putting up Colossians 2, verse 2? Oops. Yeah, where it says that, uh, their, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. Mm. Now, I have just uh, come across this verse recently and I looked it up in Romanian and there is actually a discrepancy because where it says there, full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. In Romania, it says to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God the Father, meaning Christ. God the Father meaning Christ? Meaning, Christ. meaning Christ. Yeah, and it changes the complete understanding. That's how it's translated in Romania. Huh. You'll, you'll have to maybe put a, a video together showing what Greek words are there and what Greek words are not there. And then you can show, yeah, wait a minute, something's found, not right. We, <laughs> yeah, we have, found, we have found quite a few verses in Romanian, like in 1 John 5.20, where, do you mind just, maybe you can search it quickly and put it up because it makes it easier. Go ahead where um, it says uh, this is the true God they're referring to Christ right yeah where it says and we are in him that is true even in his son Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in Romania it says and we are in him that is true meaning Jesus Christ <laughs> wow. They always add the meaning, meaning Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So it changes the understanding of it, like, completely. Yeah, that would, yeah. Wow. Well, so you ladies have some work to do in Romanian, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's just, just because they don't have many of Ellen White's um, books, books either. And whatever they yeah, have, they even there, there are a lot of mistranslations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like badly, they change the meanings. And, yeah, so. like uh, in one passage, um, it was talking about Christ, and they actually took out Christ mm -hmm. and they put God. Oh, wow. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, really, really um, changing the understanding, the meaning. Yeah, well, another thing that I was just saying that uh, what we've noticed that uh, those people that have come to understand the Sabbath truth by their own searching, so they were not Seventh-day Adventists before, mm -hmm. but they have come to the knowledge of the um, Seventh-day Sabbath, um, they are more likely to accept these um, messages, the Romanian translations of, of the administration of the angels and even the last ones that we have done. Because they're more likely to study it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whereas, Whereas Seventh-day Adventists born mm -hmm. in the family of Seventh-day Adventists, they just, nah, they just shut you down completely. But those who have, we, we've known them as coming to, in the Seventh-day Seventh Adventist day. faith, by their, own, by their own studies from another faith or no faith at all, yeah. they're more likely to accept the truth even now. It's a terrible, and it's interesting. It? And it's, it's sad, really, because I know mm -hmm. what you're saying is true. I have been able to sp uh, share the gospel, the simple gospel of the Father and the Son, asking specific questions. Does that make better sense than God in three persons? or God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, where the Spirit has no throne and no throne and no crown. And people will say, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, non-Adventist. And it's, it's quite simple, I have found, to share with them. But uh, part of the problem with Seventh-day Adventism is they have quotes that they have misunderstood, specifically third person or heavenly trio quotes. And they think by default that the Trinity, I'm sorry, the tritheistic gods must be true which of course we know is not so yeah it's it's unfortunate yeah but pretty much that's it yeah like um this but but we we, we had a lot of experiences and we feel so blessed through them all amen and 
the only thing we can encourage people is trust the Lord because indeed he will always come through. He will always help through anything and uh, yeah, even Paris as well. It just came to my mind that it's not always um, smooth sailing, you know, because we have experienced when so the internet wasn't working. Uh, one time our projector wasn't working. It just came to my mind this morning and because what we like to do is to put it on a projector. It makes it easier for us. We actually read it when we record. Right. And all the bulb was just gone. It wasn't working. So we said, we were dressed, ready to record, and it wasn't working. So we packed up the projector. That was my fault, actually, I have to say. I didn't open the little yeah, uh, that was shutter. The, that was the conclusion the, we, we kind of... I turned it on, but I didn't open the shutter from the, the light, and that caused it to heat <laughs> up, probably. Oh, I forgot. Okay, okay. It's okay. an age thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, uh, yeah. and and we went into town from shop to shop. From they were sending us here and there. We spent a couple of hours, you know, trying to fix it, and no one would, you know, give the solution. So we went home. We were praying in the meantime. We were quite down because we, this was our last um, presentation. presentation we thought we would move. Yeah, on the series of the angels and. Um, we prayed and uh, we got home and we said, "All right, we'll, we'll just give it another go. We'll we'll Turned see if it works." And it worked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was, you know, it was a miracle. You know that obviously we had done wrong in what we did, but we we trust that you know. Or sometimes we just have to listen to that small voice, small voice, pray, and the Lord will uh, fix it, fix it for you. <laughs> Also, we had the laptop uh, at one time. It, it just went black. The battery really died. So there was nothing nothing we could do. And we had two presentations already. I had edited what Buena had done. They were ready just to be recorded. And I was so upset. I was like, oh, no, I've lost them. Now, all those hours of translation oh, yeah. and of work, you know. Yeah. But I was impressed to, to just buy a new battery and just, you know, online. And I, just called her, was, I called her an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was, you know, the Lord, and that's, not, that's amazing because the Lord empowers and he develops your skills. Yeah. You know, you just have to follow. Just take one step at a time. And I was just telling Donna, had I gone on the internet and realized what the battery in a Mac is, I wouldn't have even gone down that line to actually purchase it. <laughs> <Taylor, laughs> have you seen the batteries for the laptop, Pastor yeah. Daniel? Yeah, they're, they're deep. Stick it out. They're deep it within. Was, yep. Like, you like, know, oh, at first I imagined that it would be in its own encapsulated uh, whatever case. case and, and you, you just, just take it out, put the new one in. But he's got though a few wires and he had four parts and she opened it and I just laughed so hard. <laughs> and, like, oh, like, and, you have to, and you have to work on it to dislodge it and all that. But anyway, I was praying, I was praying continually while I was working on it. It was late at night with a lamp on it and you know, and I switched it on and it worked. Oh, I couldn't stop praising the Lord because oh, wow. I, I saved all that work, you know, yeah. all that time that had gone into it. You know, so that's what I'm saying, you know, just trust, you know, listen mm -hmm. to to the inspiration that God gives you to solve issues. And yeah, that, yeah that's something I you. have to still learn from Danny because I have to say I laughed and I went to bed and I said, well, I'll find you here. <laughs> that's I'll hilarious. find you here in the morning, Daniela. And, and then she sent me a text message in the middle of the night <laughs> with a photo screen, everything done. And I thought, wow, she, she did it well. Well. I have well. to learn from my sister. That's yeah, great. So, yeah. Good on you, as they say in Australia. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So now yeah. you you all have gone through a lot of life changes and you've seen God's providences, his hand been directing you. You've started work in Romania. Are there any other plans beyond the ministration of the angels? Have you thought that through or are you just what's going on? Well, quite frankly, we, we were just talking last night a little bit and we said that maybe we should um, do some uh, ourselves, some of our presentations, just like we, we did um, on yes. the with God's English, inspiration, yeah. whatever he will put upon our hearts, the way we did in English, yes, to, to do it in Romanian as well. Um, because we've noticed that you have um, very long studies 
your studies are very long. So for us to do them, it probably we would have to break them down. You know, we might actually do some of the long ones too, but we have to actually break them down in smaller ones. I do find that people tend to um, like shorter presentations, and I think the Romanians would be more inclined actually mm. to click on a short one than on a long one. <laughs> right. No, I agree. So we were thinking, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> I think you ought to do the one in Romanian, at least lead up to it, the one that you did on spiritualism. That one was really good. That was very powerful. So I praise the Lord for the, the gift that God gave you in that message. Do you remember what yeah. I'm talking about? You mean the Christian year? You mean the one in Christian year? Is that the one you're talking about? Spiritualism. We had the spiritualism. It was a series, series though. Yeah. I think it was uh, like the fifth one or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. We were also thinking um, one of your presentations, I think it was the mind and the spirit. Is it the mind and the spirit? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That, that one we, we was the word and the spirit. Mm -hmm. the spirit. I know that. I, I think the, it's the spirit and the mind. Is, the spirit and the mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That one. yeah. yeah. We were thinking of um, translating that one, but breaking it down in, like making it a series. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, you know, people people have asked me, they're like, so what do you do? And I said, well, I'm a preacher. And they're like, oh, yeah, what church do you have? And I'm like, well, I, I don't really have a church since before COVID. I traveled a lot in, into lots of different countries, and I was coming to the point where I was wearing myself out. But then when COVID hit, I started preaching. And, and I for two full years, I did five messages per week, and on average, sometimes four, sometimes up to seven. And so I told him, I tell people, I'm, I've been more like a professor since um, COVID because I teach like one hour segments and, um, you know, going through the Bible verse by verse. And so that's been a lot of fun for me. But you're right. I do long presentations, but and, and I've been thinking so many times to do shorter ones. But I don't know. That's just where I'm at right now. There's, you know, longer presentations, but I, God will direct, I'm sure. <laughs> Amen. So now, is there anything else you guys want to share, you ladies? I've always called you ladies, and, and I, I know you don't mind. We've talked about this before. It's an endearing term, I assure you. <laughs> but is, is there anything else that you'd like to share? It was a funny story, but I don't know if you want to include that one in the, in the presentation. But I just remembered it right now because I was laughing the other day. I found myself laughing on my own because you know how Danny was splitting wood? Yeah. Um, I pulled up a photo and we ended up with some odd little pieces and we had a lot of little triangle <laughs> pieces <laughs> and because our heater, our heater is very small, I looked at those bundles and I said to Danny, look, they're, they're really small, we can burn those ones and I said, and, and they're in the shape of triangle like the Trinity <laughs> and she looked at me and, and she said, yeah. Pretty useless, aren't they? <laughs> 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 it summed it up. <laughs> it summed it up, and I laughed so hard. And I said, "Yeah, they're uh, pretty useless." <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That's really funny. <clears throat> but you know, I was going to say that the uh, this interview is basically designed for those speaking English, and the the ministry that you all have done in English has been really good. You've you've done just a few short videos on the YouTube page, The Lord Our Righteousness. And is that also where you're using the Romanian messages or have you gone somewhere else? We had actually opened a new account. It's still called The Lord Our Righteousness, but in Romanian it's called Domnul Neprihanirea Mastra. Same name. Yeah, it, it is yeah, the translation yeah. in Romanian. Okay. So it is a different, different um, account. Okay. But, so the Lord Our Righteousness is a place where anybody would be able to go and listen to Doina and Daniela, where they're able to share from the Bible. They're very good students, and they have been a blessing to me as I've been able to interact with them, traveling with Dr. Davis and myself with them. We traveled and, and a few others as well. So it was a great blessing. And ladies, I pray that God gives you the skill that you need and the uh, encouragement and the direction and the fortitude to push forward sometimes when everybody seems to be pushing the opposite direction. So may God bless and keep you. 
and we look forward thank you, and thank you. yeah thank you and so um may god continue to lead us all in preparation for the coming of his son amen amen all right amen